I'm Jacob Walker, and this is my story. I went along this morning um, with family into the appointment and essentially got told what I was expecting, that there was a low-grade tumour found in my brain. And as a result of that, uh, they're looking at the moment at next steps to take to, to fix it. Sometimes. Just got back from the MRI and um, I had to lay flat on my back for the first time since surgery. So all the blood was rushing to my head. I was so squashed in the little head holder thing with the cage over my head. It was killing and they couldn't put an earplug in this ear because of all the padding. All I could hear was just banging in my ear and I was squashed in and blood was rushing to my head for half an hour. I just had the most worst headache. The confirmation was put through that I did have a grade 2 glioma tumour, which means that they could essentially cut it out and remove it and they don't need to worry immediately about um, radiation therapy or chemotherapy. That it's just gonna be a matter of testing and waiting and rescanning and just kind of seeing what happens and just watching it over time now. But um, the hope is that I can just kind of get back to normal life at the moment. I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me and I don't want to feel sorry for myself. And I think that's really important to, uh, to be able to avoid. I'm feeling um, good about being home, feeling really positive about everything. There will be some really tough times and I can feel the agitation and a little bit of anger and stuff like that just simmering beneath the surface at the moment. And that is going to be tough to really manage and, I'm, you know, and I know that it's going to come. I know that the times are going to come where I'm really going to be tested, my patience is going to be tested and I'm really just going to have to try and not let everything just get overwhelming. You take it all on board and you learn from every experience that you undertake, but you use things like this as a real opportunity to improve and to change your tact and to do something different. You only get one crack at life, so when things like this come along, maybe it's meant for a reason. It's meant to tell me something. Nine weeks post-op, as you can see, the, the the wound is healed pretty well. You can barely even notice it anymore. Um, still a little bit numb, but all kind of feeling a lot better now. And uh, today I had um, an MRI, basically the first major MRI since a one one day post-operation. So in my hot little hands down here, I have uh, the results of um, of today's MRI, and I'm seeing my neurosurgeon on Tuesday next week to run through the results. So it's a little bit of a nervous waiting game now just to hope that everything comes off okay and that everything's fine. When I spoke to the neurosurgeon yesterday, he said that uh, there was still some residual tumour in the brain. Um, the other thing he did say was that he didn't know how long it would be before things started growing again or changing, but... He essentially said that it was almost inevitable that it will down the track. So um, his advice following that was just to keep living my life, 
as normal as possible um, and get my life back on track and, and, and do those kinds of things and try just to, you know, put it to the back of my mind and not really think about because positive outlooks really do um, change your, your, your recovery.